markets are not likely to come down any time soon and i have three solid reason why the markets will not come on the downside first thing the federal reserve is not showing any signs of pivoting so that is a term called fed pivot we'll talk briefly about that in this video second thing is we have a good gdp data sakti gandha das rbi governor in his last meeting uh, told that q2 gdp india's gdp is around 7.5% which is a perfect or which is a positive news for the market third thing is we are having a stable government in india in the five state election which took last month apart from telangana and mizoram bjp was able to win in three state which is rajasthan madhya pradesh and chatisgarh that was also a positive news and that is going to be a good news for 2024 lok sabha election which is going to happen between april and may so with all this being said we are not likely to come on the downside is what i am having or it is my perspective or it is my outlook about the market now talking about our first point fed pivot there is a term called fed pivot if you know if you don't know what is fed pivot let me explain you federal reserve has been tightening has been very tightening has a very tightening policy since few quarters last few quarters so what does that mean? mean is that inflation rate in us market is very high and federal reserve has a target of around 2% to bring down the to bring down the inflation to around 2% and i think almost they are there they are almost at 2% now if the federal reserve is having a tightening policy and they are pivoting or they are taking a u turn from tightening policy to loosening policy that is going to be a federal fed pivot now fed reserve federal reserve has indicated that 2024 there might be a pivot in their policy and they might reduce the interest rate now federal reserve you have you might know that us markets are uh, interest rate in the us markets are one of the highest in fact it is almost at 5.5% which is almost 22 years high these kind of interest rate we saw last time in 20 uh 2001 i believe right so interest rates are very high and what does that mean to emerging markets like india that's the main point here the main point is when the federal reserve increase in, uh, increases the interest rate economic activities don't grow in the us market that's what happened if you see the dow jones chart for year to day dow jones chart let me take you to the dow jones, uh, dow jones chart and you can see here this is the year to date dow jones chart and you can see that from december 29 uh, de- uh, 20 uh, december 2022 till november market dow jones have never moved anywhere in fact high was around how much around 36000 and low was around 33000 that's not even 5% uh, correction right it has moved uh, beyond 36000 when after november and do you know why it has moved beyond uh, 36000 in november is because federal reserve has stopped increasing or paused increasing the interest rate that is the main reason markets or the us markets have moved this is the same case for dow jones nasdaq s&p and so on and so forth right so until unless federal reserve is not going to pivot we are going to see a inflow of money into the indian markets or emerging market in and in fact if i have to give you an example fias have pumped more than 6 billion dollars more than 6 billion dollars in the month of december alone so that's a great number that's a wonderful number and do you think there is a reason there is there should be a reason and i believe there is a solid reason why these people's or why fias are pumping so much money into the indian market now the second reason is that india's macroeconomic data so if you see the india's macroeconomic data we have been performing very well and even in our last meeting in fact even in our last repo rate meeting Shakti Kanda Das RBI governor has indicated India's GDP growth rate is above 7 or 7.5% and that is a very very positive news for the market now if you compare with other market let's say India is at 8.7% Pakistan is at 7.5% US is at 5.9% Pakistan 6.5% right so if you see with other markets we are having a better q2 
क्यू जीडीपी दैट्स रियली पॉजिटिव नंबर फॉर मार्केट पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड यू कैन सी व्हाट इज हैपनिंग मार्केट पीपल आर जस्ट buying every dips in the market in fact we will talk about the dips or like what is going to be the numbers in terms of chart or what is going to be the market perspective in the later part of this video but for now you have to understand india's macroeconomic data are really good and that is a part positive sign for in market participants so first thing is fed is federal reserve is not going to pivot anytime soon which is going to give us a uh, edge in terms of emerging market because fii's are going to bring in lots of money and there is a solid reason why they have pumped in around 7 billion dollars in the month of december alone second point is we are having a good macroeconomic data we are performing in in terms of emerging markets in terms of other economies we are performing really good and the third thing is we have a stable government so if you see last month's last uh, last two months we had elections in five state which was rajasthan madhya pradesh madhya pradesh chatisgarh mizoram and telangana apart from telangana and mizoram bjp was able to make significant numbers in rajasthan madhya pradesh and chatisgarh now why am i saying this is because we have a election on 2024 lok sabha election between april to may so this is going to add up or this is ha this has added up a positive sentiment towards bjp because people believe or market participant believe that bjp is having a edge in lok sabha election which is going to happen on 2024 now i am not going to say which alliance or which government or which party is going to be good for india whether it is congress whether it is india alliance or whether it is bjp but what people are expecting or let me put it this way what market participants are expecting is that they need a stable government right let me say say it again they need a stable government and this stable government is only uh, possible with bjp government now uh, you know that mr narendra modi on the top uh, we don't see any other uh, alliance or any other party giving a stable stable leadership that is the main point here you have to understand if we are not having a stable government we are going to come on the downside that is a very very key important point you have to Uh, observe without uh, without a stable leadership market is not likely market you will feel volatility and that is for hundred percent sure now I am not going to say what B J P has done to the India or what Congress is going to do to India or what they have done or what the India Alliance is going to do I am not going to going into that right all we need is a stable government we need a stable leadership. and that is only possible by bjp that is the main thing here you have to understand that right so these are the three points in terms of market so that is why i have a believe i believe or i have a perspective or i have a outlook that the markets are likely to go on the higher side now in terms of chart let me give you uh, in terms of chart now i have been saying that the markets had to consolidate and markets have to come on the downside we need a correction we are super stretched and in fact i have been saying this for a very long time a long time in the sense maybe 5 or 6 trading session now what might happen tomorrow now people say in our telegram group we have a good telegram group for which the link is on the description below if you want you can join the telegram group so what people are saying is that markets are likely to come on the downside because there is some uh, negative news in terms of banks uh, nbfc's loan structuring so on and so forth so i don't believe in those things or i think uh, the even if the market comes on the downside that would be a very very good opportunity for uh, people they they are looking for dips to buy and they will buy this this dip also so the market even if it is gapping down we are likely to go on the higher side i don't see market bank nifty coming down anywhere below 46500 and in terms of nifty i don't see nifty coming anywhere down below hypothetically speaking 20500 right so 20000 from 21000 to 
uh, 500 21000 yeah we are at 21500 from 21500 to around 20000 500 that's not even a correction of 5% so uh, even if it is happening even if there is any negative news markets are not likely to come below 20500 that's about nifty and bank nifty is not likely to come anywhere below 45000 that is my firm belief we might have 100 150 points here and there up and down we may have some consolidation we may have we may see some wild swings but the long term perspective is on the higher side is what i believe in terms of our market so we'll see how things pan out or how things work out uh, for now we are going to consolidate with the heavy swing on the both side so it is uh, advisable or it is wise to go for non directional strategies like straddles or strangle and of course there is a disclaimer you will have to do it at your own risk and responsibility right i'll see you see you in another video till then take care bye